it's Elle here from Beyond Expectations. In this video, I'm going to answer one of your questions in regards to weight loss and exercise. I'll read out the question and I'll give you my answer and it goes like this. Hi Elle, you have always been helpful. You mentioned you don't do much cardio. Why is it so? Thank you so much for your question. That's a great question. Why don't I do so much cardio? Well, I'm going to give you the short answer and I'm also going to give you John and I the breakdown. Why don't I do so much cardio? Well, the simple yet technical answer to that is because I don't want to cannibalize my muscle. I'll get into that more a little bit later. Now I'll give you the breakdown of what John and I think is the formula to reshaping, transforming your body and keeping it off long term. We did Beyond Expectations in 2010, we are now in 2020. So the formula is 90% diet, 7% weights and 3% cardio. Why so little cardio? When it's perpetuated in the media that cardio is the answer, that is the way to reshape, transform your body, keep it for the long term. You will find that most people who have achieved their physique from cardio have not been able to maintain it for a long time. If they have, they often suffer from injuries. We're looking at knee replacements. We're looking at hip replacements. We are looking at elbow replacements. We are looking at your joints. So let's talk about, first of all, the big one that I dropped before, which is catabolizing your muscle. What does that mean? That means that if you do too much cardio, your body starts to tap into your muscle stores for fuel. So often people think, oh, you'll tap into your fat stores and you'll burn off the fat and you'll be all fabulous. No, that doesn't actually happen. More often than not, when you do too much cardio, what happens is, is you tap into your muscle stores, you start burning away your muscle, and once you do that, your metabolism will plummet, and ultimately you have to do more and more and more cardio because your metabolism is so bad or your resting fat burning rate. Big no-no, we don't want to start catabolizing our muscle. We don't want to do that. That is very, very bad. That is a problem zone because ultimately you want your body to be doing more for you. There's only so much cardio you can do in a day. What's your body doing through the rest of the time? You want to elevate your resting fat burning rate. So there is that. Ultimately, the battle is going to be won or lost with what you put into your mouth. I'm going to let you in on a big secret. Here it is. I don't do any cardio today. I haven't done cardio for the last few years. If you can't play with my kids, playing on the scooters, kicking a soccer ball, I do do that sort of stuff. But in terms of on a treadmill, walking, any of that, I don't do it. Why? I hear you say, why, why, why? Because I'm quite happy with where my body is at. My fat burning rate or my resting metabolism is very high. So therefore I'm not having to use cardio in any form. When I first uh, started with Beyond Expectations, that was all the doctors allowed me to do was gentle walking, so that's what I did. Uh, ultimately, I do very little weight as well because the battle is won or lost with my metabolism, elevating my resting fat burning rate. Now, moving forward, what are you going to do? What does this mean for you? My suggestion to you would be, John's suggestion to you would be, is that if you'd like to do cardio, do it for your general health and well-being because it's very good for your cardiovascular health, that's your heart, it's very good for uh, your mental health and it's just very good for your health in general. But do not see it as a weight loss alter alternative, it's the big weight loss answer. Okay, because ultimately the media wants you to believe that if you eat all these junk food, then you do lots of cardio, then you're going to be fabulous and thin as long as you do lots of cardio. No. Look, you're no advocate for one day cheat day. Ultimately, you need to meet eating whole foods the other six days a week, every two to three hours, and do weights. If you want to start with any sort of physical activity, first of all, start with weights. Make sure you get your doctor's clearance, particularly if you're heavily obese or you have a lot of medical problems before you begin. Don't just jump on a weight loss program. But ultimately, start with weights. 7% weights, 3% cardio. The reason why we give so little focus to cardio because generally speaking, the battle will be won or lost with what you put into your mouth. I hope that answers the question for you. Please don't fall into the trap of believing cardio equals weight loss equals I'm going to be fabulous until I'm 40. Because the reality is that a lot of people who do 
uh, lose weight from doing cardio, they do suffer from a lot of problems with their knees, with their joints, with their hips, and they need to be replaced because there's just so much wear and tear on the cartilage, which is between the bone, if you don't know what that is. It cannot be replaced, so you need a metal knee, a metal elbow, if you're doing activities with your elbows, like CrossFit or certain activities like that. So you need to be very careful. I am 40 years old. I do not want to get a metal knee anytime soon. Uh, so my suggestion to you would be is keep that in mind. I really do hope this helps. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for stopping by. Please subscribe, turn on the bell notifications if you haven't already. Head on over to elite.com and grab yourself a free copy from Seven Rules from Beyond Expectations. Thanks so much. Bye. Everything in life is going to take a little piece of you. I just have to roll with the punches and sort of go with it and go, okay, tomorrow's a new day. Next year, in May 2011, I will be competing in the International Sports Modelling uh, Physique Competition. And it'll be roughly nine to ten months after my second baby. Uh, unfortunately, I don't actually have a nanny to take care of my children, a chef to prepare my meals, someone to do my washing, any of those things. I don't have a personal trainer, I don't have a nutritionist, I don't even have gym membership. I don't want to do this anymore, I just want to rest and have a sleep. I just feel like it's all a bit much. I want to inspire other women who are just like me and see these Hollywood A-listers have babies and transform back into these beautiful women and you think, how am I supposed to do that? And the reality is, I'm no one special. I don't have magic powers. I don't have this huge determination and will. It's all getting a bit too much now. Just me. And I'll just have to go out there and be the best me I can be. And I hope that I'll be good enough. Our next competitor all the way from Sydney, Australia, please welcome mother of two, Hill Hill.